Hi, it's Eric with the HI EMIM Africa Fund giving the update for April. The phone's down very slightly during the month. We had a strong start, but a difficult last week. The platinum miners, Anglo Platts, Sabanye, Impala, Northern, all ended the month poorly despite palladium prices over $2,900 an ounce and platinum prices over $1,200 an ounce. Fundamentals continued to improve, but the stocks had a bit of short term weakness. They'll likely recover in May. NASPERS was also weak in line with the sell off in Tencent in Hong Kong. There's been concern about the Chinese government's policy towards their tech leaders and fears Tencent may be penalized with a fine. These fines affect sentiment, but they don't have much long term effect on the value for NASPERS or Tencent. The best performing stocks in the portfolio were Sassel, OCI, PPC Cement, B2 Gold, and MTN. Sassel and OCI are benefiting, benefiting from the high chemical prices and they're deleveraging quickly. PPC Cement is surprised with the strong cement demand across Southern Africa and also deleveraging. They made an announcement that they'll no longer need a cap rights issue to raise capital. The fund ended the month with a 43% net long equity position and 19% in bonds. The bond position is short duration government bonds in Germany and the US. This is likely my last update for the Africa Fund. The fund is going to be transitioning its investment strategy away from Africa to a broader EM focus. But just because the fund is changing its strategy, it doesn't mean the outlook is still bright for Africa. Demographics are at an important inflection point, and Africa is going to finally start benefiting from falling fertility rates. In the decade ahead, new workers are going to have more disposable income to save and to spend. This is an important inflection point that Singapore reached in the 1970s, Thailand in the 80s, and China in the 1990s. Africa's physical infrastructure is also improving. There are trains, ports, and logistical corridors newly completed or under construction across the continent. I think these projects are underappreciated and they're going to be transformational. Africa's digital infrastructure is also improving, and we're seeing increased mobile internet usage and growing smartphone adoption. Mobile money is also amazing and it's creating financial inclusion faster than we ever saw with earlier emerging markets in Asia. Demographics, financial technology, and physical infrastructure all coming together and Africa should do really well. Africa should grow from around a $2 trillion economy today to $6 trillion by 2040. I encourage you to keep learning about the continent and looking for ways to invest. Thank you very much.